Hey everyone, Tim Megan's here. So I'm going to do a really quick video on us. Uh, um, this is SV, obviously we're talking about, and we're going to do a recording for stateless transactions. Now, the main reason I'm doing it this this video and doing it this way is because I'm going to show the thick client, uh, the, what we call the workstation, more than the portal on this video, and I think it will kind of help. So the first thing we want to do is we want to start up our demo server. Now I've already started a workstation. I've already started all the other, um, <clears throat> excuse me, all the other products that go with it. So let's go into Lisa demo server. Let's run this as an admin. Okay. Give it a few seconds to start up. Now I could have started this without you, but I figured say if you jump directly to this video versus watching the other ones, then you'd want to see how to start this up. Again, this product, um, it's a really cool demo. It comes free with service virtualization, the uh, our dev test application test. The trick is when I run this, it will get errors. I'm not sure why, but it still starts up and runs just fine. So we're gonna let this run for a bit. And then the main thing we're looking at when it runs, okay, we're gonna go, I don't think it's ready yet because it takes a few seconds, but I'm gonna go ahead, we're going to ex examples SC, I'm assuming for source, kiosk, and you run this bat file here. Now it says communicating with the bank, but I think it's still running because you should have all the other little gadgets here. So I'm going to pause the video and come back to this one. Oh, what? Well, let's see. Maybe it's up. Never mind. All right. So the first thing I want to do is check my um, port, which is 8080. If you watch the other videos, the port was 8081. That's very important to know. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and document that. Um, uh, what is it? it was 8080? There we go. Now, and then the, so we're going to go ahead and create a user. That's fine. So create a user, you click on this plus. Let me make sure, who do I have as users? Okay. So we're going to create a new user. We're going to just say plus. And if anybody knows me, I'm a huge Pink Floyd fan. And David Gilmore is one of my favorite guitar players. And if it wasn't for Sid Barrett, we wouldn't have Pink Floyd. So Sid Barrett. He lives on Main Street. His email is sbarrett at nisolutions.com. His phone number is 555-555-5555. Okay. Um, actually, I wonder if we can do this. 867 Oh, 9 um, 555 there we go so 555 a675309 and then he lives in Nashville because I live in Nashville uh, if I can spell it now I didn't do the fonts here so that's gonna was throwing me off um, that and I can't spell anyway especially when I'm talking and um, that's this fonts are just kind of built into the system like I don't know who did it uh, Oops. Okay, Barrett. So our user, our password is pass. We're gonna create a checking account for him. We're gonna give him a thousand dollars to start with. Is that cool? And then we're gonna create a savings account. And he doesn't have a whole lot in his sevens. So we'll just say five hundred. All right. And then submit. All right. So here's our user we created. Said Barrett. Um, it's good to go. So if we go back to here, if I change here, I do see my said Barrett. And if I log in as him by clicking my my card, pass. Okay, let's just check our checking balance. A thousand. Awesome. Let's go back. We'll check our go back one more time. Let's check our savings balance. Oops, sorry. I keep wanting to click the screen, but that's not how it works. And we're good. All right, cool. So at least now our user is set up. Okay, so now that we've got our person, what we need to do is go and set up our dev test. So this is the workstation. You haven't seen me work too much in this one. Um, and I'm, I plan to do some videos afterwards that are gonna kind of link some of this together, give you more, more definitions, and show you how to do more things to the UI. But right now, I just wanna focus on certain tasks. And right now, like I said, we're gonna work on creating stateless. So the reason we're doing it here is two reasons. Number one, I'm letting you get a view 
of using the workstation, which I prefer. Um, <clears throat> the the portal is easier if you're doing just simple recordings, but again, it has some limitations. And I've been doing this for a long time, which means we started with a thick client, and it you know we just kind of been doing it forever. What I need to do though is I'm just gonna I'm gonna clear out my temp folder um, because I want everything to go to temp. Let's see. That's fine. Um, well, I, I don't know why I dragged it to the other screen. I was thinking you were seeing the other screen for some reason. But what I want to do is I could save this to the local repository, but I kind of don't want to. Um, what I want to do is take and put it on my temp. Um, let me see. Sorry, I've got work going on on the other screen. So temp, 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 temp is here, okay. Go to file name, we say stateless, and kiosk, we'll just call it kiosk, which is fine, which is a funny, is it kiosk? Yeah, okay, which is a funny word. Okay, and now what we need to do here is we want to treat all transactions as stateless. Notice it took away our navigation. Now I'm going to give you a definition on navigation in another video. It's part of uh, the know-how, what I'd call the, the, the more detailed stuff, more advanced stuff. Uh, but just for now, we'll do that. So we want to do our browse. We want to browse to our... What this is going to do, I'll show you in a few seconds. Let's go back to our temp. Now I could have just copied the previous one down, but... I kind of don't want to because this gives it a name. So we'll call this our, is this our transactions? Okay, I was checking to make sure this was our transactions. Export to, yeah, this is transactions. We'll just call it transactions, that's fine. And then that's our XML. And we're gonna use that later. And I think we're gonna use that later, but we'll see. Uh, but I also need one for my data model. So we're gonna, uh, the data model works best if it's actually in the same folder. Okay, so we're just going to drop this one right in the temp. Uh, what, do we, what do we call the other one? I'm sorry. Stateless. No, we don't need to call it model because automatically VSM. So we didn't talk about the files too much uh, that I remember of. But if you look at the stateless, um, I mean, I'm sorry, if you look at the files, you got a VSI. And I'm going to talk about these in a later video also. The VSI has your transaction information is a good way to look at it. And the VSM has your model. And we're definitely going to talk about the model later. And that's another reason why I want to do it here. In the portal, you don't see the model. This more and uh, flexible, we'll talk about that as well. More efficient and flexible, sorry. Okay, I'm um, sorry, you do have to pick your protocol. I'm glad it aired out on me there. And we did say all transactions are stateless. Okay, that's... Now, what I wanna do now is if you remember in the portal, you had your, um, where's my little notepad? In the portal, you had the portal talking to the recorder, okay? that was going to the back end, right? Okay, well this is the same thing. So here, uh, our portal is going to be going to 8001, okay, which is our recorder, okay? And then our back end, as we said, is 8080. Now this is not as pretty as the UI, in my personal opinion, but this is what we use all the time. So, uh, so it should work, you know, you'll be fine with it, put it that way. All this other stuff we'll talk about later, this just security stuff. But if I say next, um, wait, whoa, what a mess up. That state, oh, yeah, got to say where. Sorry, <laughs> localhost. I, I don't think of changing, like this would be your IP address or things like that. I don't think about changing when it's local. Now we can go. So now we're recording. Now if we go over to our kiosk, which is still here. Let's go ahead and change this to 8001, which is what we said it was. Hit OK. We're going to hit Refresh. And look at that. So it's working. We've got one recorder, one action recorded already. So let's log in as our buddy Sid. Uh, we're Sid Barrett. Here he is. We're going to log in. Okay. Uh, password. 
Now the first thing we want to do is go to our checking. Okay, we're going to check the balance. Uh, back. How come our whoops? Back. Let me restart this because sometimes when you let it set too long, it kind of freezes up. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I restarted and it started working. The problem is one thing you all don't see is obviously I take breaks and I have to do other things. Then I come back to the video to try to finish it. Now, I tested it just then. I've restarted. Let's see. We still import 8080. Now, the good news is whenever you do your... Um, Whenever you're working on this, if you just hit your back button, hit cancel, um, you can clear out your recordings and be fine. Uh, if you remember, our listener is um, 8001, so we need to go change that. So let's change it here. And let's say OK. Let's double click on SID. Pass is what we entered for the password. If we go look at the checking now, the balance, I've got the thousand, which is what we looked at before. So let's do back and what we're going to do is we want to deposit a hundred dollars sounds good all right awesome we'll do another transaction and just to be greedy why don't we take some money out we'll just take 10 bucks out all right so we're good with that one so let's go look at our balance now hey look at that pretty cool huh all right, so what we want to do also, let's go back. Let's see, do we want to do anything else? No, I think we're okay. So that was our, where were we, where were we at? Let's go cancel. Let's, all right, so now we're out. We're going to change our port back to 8080. Hit OK. And hit refresh. All right, cool. We're done. Now, if the math didn't add up, I didn't pay attention. There is a feature built into it that you get a $5 promotion uh, credit. So on your first withdrawal. I'm not sure we withdrew any, did we? Yeah, we did the 10 bucks. Okay, my bad. Wow. Uh, so <laughs> I need more coffee. So let's go back here. We've got some transactions. We're good. So let's go ahead and hit next. Um, we're okay with this base path. That's fine. I'm not gonna change that. It did pick up automatically if you remember our protocols, right? So it picked up our protocol as being a soap automatically. That's pretty cool. So let's go next uh, And we got an error talk to the database 99% of the time that it's just a timeout thing Just because I'm running everything local through the command line. So I'll be right back. Let me fix that Okay, so I lied. I'm gonna let you debug this with me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure our temp is cleared out I think I just cleared it out. We're good. Okay, so I'm gonna say this time I'm going to run this as an admin. And I think that was the issue I was having a few minutes ago. So I'll give a few seconds to start up. <clears throat> yes, connect to the registry. Remember even Windows, just because I'm running to my temp, it uh, probably didn't have access to it. Maybe, I hope. But I have seen it do that before. I've stopped to restart it. And a lot of times it's because this isn't really set up as a server, right? You wouldn't run all this locally on your laptop. Uh, unfortunately, that's what I'm doing. But we're going to see how fast we can build this. We're going to say new. We're going to go to temp. Oh, remember temp, that's pretty cool. Uh, but I want to make sure I am truly in my temp folder. Okay, open, we'll call it uh, stateless, stateless kiosk. Okay, uh, we're good with that. Create, and create a recording. I'm going to make sure it's temp, kiosk, so it remembers all that. That's cool. I don't care about changing the name. We're going to make sure our traffic, oops. Make sure our protocol wouldn't cover our traffic is HTTPS. No, yeah, that's fine. HTTP, treat all transactions as stateless, which is going to change that. We're going to change our export. Um, you know, I'm okay for it just being here, to be honest with you. It's not going to be as clean, but that's fine. So we'll call this um, stateless. To me, S is stateless. Um, Transactions, that's fine. I'll call it transactions. Okay. And then the same with our model. We just have it right in the root and we'll call it stateless model. Okay. Not the best naming conventions either, but hey, it works. Next. Okay, this is where I put the protocol, the well, local host who knows that. Uh, remember here we're 8080. Okay, 8001 there, we're good, good, da, da, da. everything's good. Next, all right, we're good. Now we're getting ready for our recording. 
I don't want the recording start yet, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, what I need is the kiosk, which is here. I'm just going to start it over as well. Mm, yeah, because we've had problems with it a couple of times. And besides that, you can see how cool and simple it really is. So if we go here, here, we're going to demo server, not cars. We need Lisa demo. We'll go run as administrator. Go, go. Okay. Just give it a few to start up. Okay, patience, I'm just giving it a few. Let's see how far we are. So, examples of C, chaos, chaos, okay. All right, and do we still have our SID? We do, SID. Now we should just be local to the correct database, 8080. So let's log in as SID, uh, pass. Unfortunately, I don't know if it reset us back to our yeah, we still have money in there. So um, back and back, savings, balance, 500. Okay, cool. So we're still set up there. So what we're going to do is we need to change this to 8001. So there we go. That would be to our recorder. Um, actually, sorry. Yeah, yeah, because we haven't started yet. I'm going to get back to the beginning, signing off. All right. Um, see that that retry thing this communication thing a lot of that's because it's not done setting up yet so let's add this back to 8001 or 8000 and now we'll say retry okay perfect and oh I'm sorry that was because our recorder wasn't started next now it's there we, we didn't have this open so it didn't know how to communicate with it all right so now let's go to our kiosk which is here now we can set it back. User one, okay. If I hit refresh, I should get one transaction at least. Yep, I'm there. Now what we're gonna do is gonna kind of fly through this. Okay, pass, because we just gotta create some transactions. Okay, we're gonna start with checking. Uh, we did a positive 100, so it's fine. We'll put another 100. Okay, we're good with that. Now let's go back to another transaction. Okay, and let's do our balance. Notice we got some more money. Cool, back. And now let's go do our savings this time because we didn't do savings. Savings, we'll look at our balance, 500, back. We're gonna go ahead and deposit another 100, another transaction, and let's do a withdrawal this time. And we'll just withdraw 10, okay. And another transaction, we'll look at the balance. So there's that five dollars. Um, I think you heard me say in the other video. So we're good there. He's just telling me the logic is working. That's all I really care. So we're gonna back, back, and cancel and get us to our login. We're there. All right, perfect. So now what we're gonna do is change this to eight eighty eighty just to get us off the recorder. We hit refresh, and if I go to here, I have plenty of transactions. I have nine. So next, we go with that. Next, it picked up our soap as our protocol, which is correct. Here it did our finish. I want to open the image and I want to generate the model. And then I want to say finish. All right, that's exactly what we wanted. <laughs> so uh, I kind of flew through that quickly. I started slowly at the beginning because I want you all to see it, but you see how quick and easy that was. Now I'm going to do another video towards the end where I explain most of this. Uh, the biggest thing I want you to see is this is your model. Okay, we'll talk about these in another video. I don't want the other video to be anything like this, uh, but we will save this one. And come back and talk about it and the new image i can see these are the transactions that we're taking okay um which is pretty cool so with seeing that that was a very simple quick uh recording just between just to do a stateless recording um let's see i don't i was going to see if there's anything i want to bring to your attention at this moment but i don't think so because i really want to talk about this in another video um so Oh, you know what I do want to do? I do want to deploy this though. So let's do right click right here on the VSM. We're going to say deploy. Okay, and give it a tag. We'll call this uh, 
I think it's called cars demo. Now this should look similar to the other deployment. Notice I have the option to start it. Um, with this one, I have a start to automatically as well. My think time, we talked about that. Okay, so we're just gonna say deploy. Okay, we're good. And I'm not sure if I still have it open, so we'll just go open it freshly. Servers, well, here. Give it a second, dev test. And if I go to my memory, go to monitoring, virtual services, give it a second, it's still loading. Okay, monitor, VSE. And we have the one we just created, stateless model, that is running. Now, uh, kicking kicks and giggles. Now, since that's running, if I go and change this, and we say zero 01, it's now talking to our virtual service that is running. I'll hit refresh. I should have gave us one when it's, whenever this right here refreshes. We'll go ahead and log in as Sid. Oops, spelled the password correctly. All right, we'll check out our checking balance. We still got we're good with our money. So we're getting transactions now. We've got three. Uh, our deposit, um, we'll deposit 10 bucks. And we'll say another transaction balance. We're good. Back. Back. We'll do our savings. We'll We'll just say we've got payday, so we'll deposit 100 bucks and check our balance. We're good. Back and then cancel brings us to the login page. Now I'll go ahead and change this back because I don't know if I have that project running when I restart, but just I don't have any issues. All right, so now this is back to the original back end and not pointing to the, uh, the VS here, the virtual service. But as you can see, we got a transactions just from that moving. All right. Cool. So let's go ahead and stop this. And we're set up for the next one. Anyway, I hope that was all simple. Like I said, I do want to come back and talk about the thick client a little bit more um, because you do see it, even though it is in the front end, you just don't see it as much here. The biggest thing that goes here is whenever you create your recordings, you have a VSM, that's your model. And then you also have your images, which is called the VSI, okay? And that's just the biggest thing you need to know.